Okay, we've got to get to this lightning round. I bet we can do it in like two minutes. Really? Okay. Here are the dichotomies. Just the first thing that comes to your mind at the superhuman Shapiro speed. Favorite novel? Uh, so I, I will go with, I have like four or five of them actually. So Mo Moby Dick is my favorite. If I have to pick one, take to a desert island, it's Moby Dick. All right. Best American novel. Then there are a bunch that nobody's ever heard of. There's one called Every Man Dies Alone, mm -hmm. uh, which is a terrific book about a couple who uh, are living in Nazi Germany. And they decide to basically put out leaflets. Their son has been killed in the war. They're Germans. Their son has been killed in the war as a, as a brown shirt. And they have decided to put out leaflets resisting Hitler, knowing it's not really going to do any good about their relationship. It's a terrific book by a guy named Hans Falata, uh, who was writing at the time uh, in Germany. Uh, so that, that's a really good book. Um, there's a, a little, another little-known book that's really enjoyable, just a fun book. It's called The Secret of Santa Vittoria by Robert Crichton. Uh, they made a movie out of it that I don't think is particularly good. But the, the, the book itself is a really great read. Um, and then, of course, you have to add some of the Russians, right? The Crime and Punishment, uh, Anna Karenina. Um, but, yeah, th those would be at the top of the list. All right. Favorite philosopher? Uh, so I, I would say either Kant or Locke, which is a real dichotomy. You can, yeah, you can uh, smash but, them both together and try to make sense of that, I suppose. It would be kind of, <laughs> kind of difficult, but, uh, but it's, hard, it's hard to root against Kant. Kant is pretty spectacular. Although... Reading Kant is brutal. Just read a summary of Kant. You'll it, be better off. It, it is awful. It, it took me so long and so much masochism to get through the critique of pure reason. It's in, you could literally just have somebody summarize it for you and get <laughs> as much out of it as, as trying to slog your way through 800 pages of badly translated German. Uh, <laughs> favorite color? Uh, yellow. Athens or Jerusalem? Uh, I mean, that's, that's both. I mean, <laughs> Lepanto or Tours? Neither. LA or DC? Uh, LA. L.A. or Lepanto? L.A. Batman or Superman? Oh, that's hard. That's the hardest one you've given me, mm -hmm, Batman versus Superman. Um, if Batman killed people, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Favorite musical? Um, the one that's closest to my heart is 1776. The one that's the most brilliant is Sweeney Todd. Favorite movie? Um, again, I would have to go, like, top ten, but... Uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy is fantastic. The Dark Knight trilogy is fantastic. Um, there's uh, A Man for All Seasons used to be uh, my favorite for a long time. Uh, the uh, uh, what, What's the name of the film now? Uh, they, they made a remake. All the King's Men, uh, the original with Broderick Crawford, uh, was up there on my list. Truman Show is a great movie. I have a list of, I'll have to do my list of top 100 movies because I've seen every Oscar-nominated film since 1933. Oh, my God. So, of course you have. Virtually all of them anyway. Yeah. Spirit Animal. Spirit Animal. God. My spirit animal is Ben Shapiro, actually. But what is your what is Ben Shapiro's spirit animal? I don't buy into this <laughs> spirit animal. I don't even like animals. <laughs> You're <going there. laughs> Edmund Spencer or Richard Spencer? Anyone who's not Richard Spencer. <laughs> yeah. Among whom is Edmund Spencer. Yeah, good poet. Democracy or meritocracy? Uh, meritocracy. Meritocracy or monarchy? Meritocracy. Yale or Harvard? I went to Harvard Law School, dude. Yale or Oxford? Um, yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. I thought I was going to have to go down like 10 of those before I got yeah, to no, All no. right, I'll take it. My country right or wrong, my country when it's right. My country when it's right. Regular Coke or Diet Coke? A regular Coke. Edmund Burke or Thomas Paine? You have to pick one. Uh, Edmund Burke. Greatest composer? Beethoven. Favorite book of the Bible? Oh, um, that's another hard one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, our, although our canon is a lot smaller than yours. Uh, it's, uh... <laughs> I do have a particular love for uh, Samuel 1 and 2. The, all, all the David and, and Saul stuff is fantastic. Note to self, read Samuel 1 and 2. Uh, Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones? Uh, Lord of the Rings. A hot dog is a sandwich? A hot dog is not a sandwich. A hot dog is not a sandwich. You have to have two separate pieces of bread to make a sandwich. What about a hoagie? A hoagie doesn't have two separate pieces of bread. Also not a sandwich. Wow, a my God, this is outrageous. <laughs> Final question. The right to bear arms, the right to arm bears. <laughs> what does um, freedom mean to you? Well, I mean, what kind of country would we be if we couldn't do both? <laughs> that is a great That's point. It. Everybody, Ben Shapiro. Ben, thank you for coming on. Thanks a lot. A real pleasure. Thank you for everything. It's been mediocre. It's been just solidly <laughs> mediocre. <laughs> Edit that out. Edit it out, Marshall. Ben, thank you.